Hey everybody, I want to show you what I'm doing here. So I've got this Thermodyne watt meter and uh, a little overkill here. But uh, I got these gauges from Missouri Wind and Solar. The analog's pretty cool per se, but man, digital's just so much easier to read. So I'm wanting to go with a digital meter. So what I've done, you see the wires and then there's the meter. I've made this where I can open it up it's pretty simple to wire up. It's input and output. So what I'll do is I'll connect it to my uh, wind turbine controller and uh, just button it up and uh, see how it all goes. And uh, go outside real quick. I'm very pleased if you've been following the videos on uh, the wind turbine. It's not spinning right now, but the winds, we're not getting our strong winds yet, but I've been making power today and the watt meter is going to be even better. I'm real anal and I want to see how things are operating. So uh, next step, I'll be wiring it up. And this can be a pretty short video. I don't want to waste your time. The only thing on that Thermodyne watt meter, everything I've seen on YouTube, there've been some pretty crappy wiring jobs. So I want to make something look a little prettier and kind of show you how I'm doing mine. So I want to show you just what it looks like now that I've got it dressed up. Something I do with these butt splices, I still wrap them up in electrical tape. That way, if there's any little strand of wire, it won't arc out. So all I got to do is now fight this and put it in there. So uh, I just want to show you that I've left this open and I can screw it in there and always have access to it. And uh, so far, so good. And now this is what it looks like dressed up. So on to the next step. Well, you can see the meter and every time I try to go outside and show the wind blowing, of course the wind dies but uh, i'm real happy with the meter i like it a lot better than this one this just doesn't show anything so if you look at it it's six and five and three and i'm okay with that i'm about to turn the camera around this doesn't pick it up i've got i've matched the shunt to the meter this 5.3 and 2.4 let me turn the camera around that may seem pretty stupid, but I'll be honest. I had no expectations of making wind power when I bought this because I don't get that much wind. I get the wind in the winter. All I wanted it for was a trickle charge and it's working for that. So, so far so good. Excuse me, I just sneezed. So I'm real happy with the, uh, with the meter. And uh, I like the little console. The wood is a little warped just for moisture that I had it out in the shop, but I think it matches the rest of the gauges. And let me get back here. So now I can sit here and watch TV and in the winter between watching the wind blow and seeing what kind of output I get, I'm gonna be real happy with it. So, and it, I just heard the turbine kick on again and I'm making about 15 watts so and it's just barely spinning so i'm real happy with the thermodyne pma i'm real happy with the k2 blades and uh i love this meter i wish i'd have gone to it sooner but i can't build everything at once and i build as i go as i can afford so anyway this is going to wrap the video up and uh, i appreciate you watching and take care and god bless <laughs>